Pennsylvania tests between 1 and 1.5 million mosquitoes for West Nile virus each year. That's more than any other state except California. At the Department of Environmental Protection's Bureau of Labs, mosquito samples from every county in the Commonwealth arrive in a bottle with a barcode label and are stored on dry ice. Taxonomists in the laboratories sort the mosquitoes by species and place them in vials to be sent over to DEP's molecular lab. DEP lab technicians use a multi-step process to isolate and identify West Nile virus at the cellular level. The extraction process breaks down the mosquito bodies, removes all the mosquito bits and broken cells, and leaves only the mosquito RNA to be screened for West Nile. So how do we do it? Step 1. Add copper-coated BBs to vials of sorted mosquitoes. Step 2. Vortexing. This crushes the mosquito bodies using the copper BBs. Step 3. Add a fluid solution to crushed mosquito samples. Step 4. Vortex again. This mixes the crushed mosquito bits into the solution. Step 5. Spin the samples in the centrifuge to create a pellet of crushed mosquito bits. Step 6. Draw off the top of the solution after centrifuging and place solution into an S-block. Step 7. The robot. After the RNA is extracted, we add that to a cocktail that includes genetic code specific to West Nile RNA. This instrument automates the repetitive testing process that isolates West Nile virus, substantially increasing the number of samples that can be tested daily. Included in the cocktail is a fluorescent probe that emits fluorescence each time West Nile virus is detected. The instrument displays this information in a graph. Everything over the green line? Positive for West Nile. Once DEP identifies which samples are positive, we contact the counties to let them know. We coordinate with the counties to conduct spray events in the areas with high levels of positives to help safeguard the health and safety of Pennsylvanians.